welcome to our uh, welcome to our special celebration on nine New Horizons 2021. What we do at this special celebration, we welcome everyone to the special celebration. We have an opening prayer. We do a little drama. We sing a few songs. You are very welcome to come along in 2022. Today, we hope to enjoy the video, our video. Jesus calms the storm. One day, Jesus said to his disciples, let's go over to the other side of the lake. So they got into the boat and left. As they sailed, Jesus fell asleep. A storm came down on the lake. It was so bad that the boat was about to sink. They were in great danger. The disciples went and woke Jesus up. They said, Master, Master, we're going to drown. He got up and ordered the wind and the huge waves to stop. The storm quietened down. It was completely calm. Where is your faith? He asked his disciples. They were amazed and full of fear. They asked one another, who is this? He commands even the winds and the waves and they obey him. Sarah, how did the disciples feel when the storm came? Scared. They felt scared. David, how did the disciples feel when the storm came? Sad. They felt sad. And Ian, how did the disciples feel when the storm came? Um, worried. They were worried. And then Sarah, how did the disciples feel when Jesus completely stopped the storm? Relieved. They felt relieved. David, how did the disciples feel when Jesus completely Stop the storm. Peace. Peace. And Ian, how did the disciples feel when Jesus completely stopped the storm? Oh, wonderful. They felt wonderful. It is very natural to feel fear and panic when you feel that you're in a dangerous situation or when everything around you is in chaos like a storm. If I had have been on that boat, I would have been terrified. What do you do when you're feeling terrified, worried or anxious? When I'm worried, I get a bit hyper. I talk far too fast. I bite my nails and I fidget. When the disciples were scared, they turned to Jesus and they cried out for help. They weren't terribly polite about it. They shouted at him, wake up, because they were so frightened. It probably isn't a good idea to shout at people when you're feeling frightened, especially not the Son of God. But Jesus had compassion on his frightened friends. He showed them that he was calm. Jesus knew peace. Then he spoke to the wind and the waves. He stopped the storm. The wind went from blowing a gale to still and silent. The waves went from dangerous heights to flat and calm. Not a ripple. Jesus made peace. Then Jesus asked them, where is your faith? And by this he meant, who do you trust in? From the small concerns like the weather forecast. Can you trust the weather forecast in Northern Ireland? No, you can't. <laughs> Can you always trust that things won't break in a storm? No, sadly not. Can you trust yourself or others around you not to panic when they're feeling frightened? No. Who can you trust in? 
the disciples did the right thing. They looked to Jesus to help them in the storm. When you next face something scary and distressing, I hope and pray that you will seek peace in Jesus. I hope and pray that you will know peace. At the end of the story, we read that the disciples' terror at the storm turned into awe and wonder at the power of God and Jesus. This awful event happened, and it helped them to understand and believe that Jesus was different from other people. He was special. He was and is the Son of God. Seek peace in Jesus. Know peace in Jesus. Make peace in Jesus. Amen. Dear Lord, please remember the nurses and doctors and everyone in the hospital that they may get better soon. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, we do miss being together at special celebration at New Horizon in Korean this year. But thank you that we can listen online and learn more about you. Thank you for the story that we have heard today from the Bible. We may not be in a boat in a storm like the disciples were, but we do have times when we feel anxious, worried, and feel sad. Please help us to seek you like the disciples did. You are more powerful than any storm or troubles that we may face. Help us to trust you when we don't understand and to know your peace and that you are in control. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turns face toward you and give you peace. The Lord bless you and keep his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turns face toward and give you peace. Amen. Amen. children and their children and 
their children. May his presence go before you and behind you and beside you, all around you and within you. He is with you. He is with you. for you.